Hi killers, welcome back to our channel and today I am bringing you this glam undertaker look. If you're looking for inspiration for Halloween, this look is perfect, honey. It's dramatic and it will definitely have people stopping in their tracks and it will have your haters going to sleep. And you know what I mean by sleep? Six feet under. So yeah, this look was inspired by Lucy Garland. If you're not following her, you should. She's amazing. All of the products in this video will be in the description box down below. And here we go. To start off this look, I am going to be doing my eyes first because I don't want any fallout to fall all over my foundation. That is a big no-no. So let's go ahead and prime the eyes. And I'm going to be using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You guys know the drill. It is my favorite. Okay, so once we have the eye primed, we are going to use our Storybook Cosmetics Wizardry and Witchcraft Palette. I love this palette. It is so cool. You open her up and here are the shades. And we're going to dip into this shade right here called Prophecy. And we're going to set our brow to lid with that. So I'm just going to dip into it and just pack it and swipe on. Really is going to give us a nice, clean, smooth canvas for blending our shadows. So once we have that all done, then we're going to move into some eyeshadow, people. I am going to take my MAC 224 blending brush. It is my favorite for blending eyeshadows in the crease. And I'm going to take this shade called Charms. And I am going to blend that through my crease. I'm only going to use a little bit because I want to build this look up. I don't want to go so intense right away. I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown blush actually, but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow today. And the shade is called Flame. And when you open it up, she looks like that. It looks orange on camera, but it's red. I promise you it's red. It's like this really pretty like bright fire red and I love it. So I'm going to start with that very lightly on the same brush and lightly start to diffuse and blend that through my crease. I'm going to start to take the red and I'm only going to focus it on the outer corner of the eye. Buff that first and whatever's left over on my brush, I'm going to bring that into my inner crease. So now that your crease and everything is all blended to your liking, we are going to move on to the eyelid and I'm going to dip back into the Wizardry and Witchcraft palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. Oh, it's like a gorgeous cranberry red and it's called Sorcerer and I am going to put pack that all over my lid. So even though I like, I like how it looks dry, but now I'm going to wet it with some Fix Plus because I want it to be intense just a little bit and now I'm gonna pack that right Ooh. so now I'm gonna take that 224 brush with no additional product and I'm just gonna buff away so I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye and then I will meet you guys right back so now I'm gonna move into my foundation so today, I am going to start with the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. It is very hydrating and I just love what it does to my skin when I put it on. So I'm going to take some of that. 
then I'm gonna move into the Touch and Sew No Problem Primer. This primer is so good. Really smooths out texture and just all of that good stuff. So I'm a fan. And then we're gonna move into foundation. I am gonna use my Tarte Clay Stick. Trusty, trusty, trusty foundation. So good. And I am in the color Tan Sand. And I'm just gonna take that. gonna take my trusty tart shape tape y'all already know the drill with shape tape so good and the color medium I look like a like a warrior like some kind of I don't know African warrior <sighs> okay no I'm not gonna do that okay so I just want to take my beauty blender and bounce that in Okay, now before anything creases, Law Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Cause we don't want no creasing up in this, up in this joint. No, no. I'm gonna start off with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and. I'm going to be dipping into this first guy here and I'm going to take the MAC 129 brush. It's kind of fluffy, kind of nice. So just going to dip in. So I'm going to take my Refined Golden by MAC. It's my go-to bronzer. It's so if like complements my skin tone so nicely so I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just so I'm gonna dip back into the Kat Von D shade and light and I'm gonna take this deeper color right here very lightly <laughs> and I'm gonna just, just a little bit, see? Mm, sharpen that up. Just a little. Dust off excess. And then take my bronzer again, and I'm just gonna go over it to soften it. Now, let's brush off some bakes. So I'm gonna use the MAC 150 brush and just dust everything off. Okay, so a little trick that I like to do for my contour when you want your cheeks to be really sharp and cut, take your translucent powder, your beauty blender, dunk in, and right underneath your contour. Put some powder. So I'm gonna go back into the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna take the red on this Mikasa E310 brush and start to buff underneath and I'm really gonna buff. Okay guys, so I'm gonna brush off my bake, put on my lashes and do this eye off camera and I will meet you guys right back in a sec. Everything is done, so let's go ahead and finish up this look. So I'm gonna take Max Old Darling Highlighter and my Mikasa F120 brush 
and I'm gonna just highlight the cheeks. Today I'm gonna be using Witches from Kat Von D. And let's get this baby going. Hey guys, this is the finished look. I hope you all like it. I absolutely love it. I'm giving you Undertaker realness and I'm ready to take all of the haters, the basic bitches, and the dead bodies and put them in the grave, y'all. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you love this video and if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to our channel because if you don't, I'm coming for you and you're going to be the next one that's going to be in the grave. Go ahead and comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. There's a lot more in store for you guys, a lot more coming. And on that note, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye, killers.